my lovelies, my name is Lekka, and today we're going to be doing an Aeron only challenge run through of Pokemon Emerald. And there's a few reasons why I'm doing this. One being that I uh, really wanted a break from Nuzlocke, considering that uh, when I have Aeron die inevitably at many points in this challenge, I don't have to restart the entire game. I'm just trying to beat it with only Aeron and that alone, which is a nice change of pace. For Pokemon challenges. Uh, two, because my old best friend in elementary school loved Aeron. It was his favorite Pokemon. Absol is my favorite Pokemon. We vibed on our Gen 3 love, and I feel like Gen 3 steel types that aren't Metagross, so they get shoved down your throat all the time, don't get enough love. So I wanted to give some love to the often overlooked Aeron line. And three, I don't know, usually there's a third reason, and uh, I, I, I just really don't have one. <laughs> but it sure sounded good. Anywho, uh, the thing with Aeron is, if you guys are looking at the stats like you have here, it's not too bad. It has 330 base total stats, and it has a redonkulous amount of defense, which is amazing. The bad thing is, its special defense is only 40, and considering we have a times two weakness to water, and Wallace is going to be a thing, I'm not looking too forward to that, but we have two good abilities, Sturdy, so if I get one shot by a Hydro Pump, I could survive, and then Rockhead, which prevents me from taking any recoil damage, which is really nice and could be a good ability if we're going to be trying to go in super heavy with like a quick claw, see if we can just ba -ba 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 go at him first. But I should let you guys know what the rules are going into this, and uh, if you want to see them, you can look in the description down below as well. But basically, we're going to be doing this lock um, with only Aeron. Uh, items can't be used in battle, kind of like a hardcore Nuzlocke, except for held items. And I'm not going to purposefully overlevel my Aeron, so like I'm not going to go into all of the fights at level 100. I'm going to see how close I can get to beating them without excessively overleveling. There's not really going to be a hard and fast rule for that, it'll just be up to my judgment. I also can't evolve the Pokemon that I'm using since I'm not going to be using Aeron and then have it be a Laron and an Aggron. It's an Aeron only challenge, which means we're forever going to keep it as an Aeron. And uh, pretty sure those are the only ones, if I missed any, it'll be in the description. But it's pretty simple as far as Pokemon challenges go. And then just try not to die. Uh, as far as our level up moveset goes, it's not that great. It's really not. Uh, we have Tackle, and we get Headbutt at level 10, so that's nice. But the best Steel-type move we get is uh, gonna be Iron Tail, but it's only 75% accurate. And we all know that if a move is not 100% accurate, it's 50% accurate. Because Michael says so. Um, but also because it's just awful, especially the fact that they gave Metal Claw only 95% accuracy really makes me sad because it makes it like fly where when you need it to work the most is when it's going to miss the most and that's, that's just a sad, sad thing. So I'm not sure what we're going to have as our moveset. I know that we can learn Toxic, um, so we might be doing, especially since we learn Protect, maybe some, uh, Toxic Protect shenanigans. Uh, maybe we'll do double edge and, uh, dig so we can hide underground, uh, things like that to try and whittle people down with is kind of what I'm thinking from just looking at these going forward. But we can always change up our moveset as need be to progress further in the game and, uh, also just try different strategies out. So, right, riding in the back of the truck as is tradition. Look at that. All of our starter Pokemon are Aeron. It doesn't really matter which one we pick, huh? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. If a hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. My mommy said to pick the very best one, and you are it. And there we go. We are, of course, going to name this Jordan after my elementary best friend, who loved this as his favorite Pokemon. And it's a boy, too, which fits, since Jordan was indeed a boy. All right, so it looks like our Jordan is a calm nature. Oh, that's high special defense and low attack. Jordan, come on. Oh my god. Well, at least you have Rockhead. That prevents recoil damage so we can do things that are sassy, like teach him double edge and he'll be able to do a really strong attack, I guess. Um, his HP is 21, attack is only 11, special attack is 10, which is weird. Defense is 16, so that's pretty good. Special defense is higher, considering... I mean, high special defense isn't terrible, because we need that for our stat anyway. But the fact that it decreases attack instead of special attack for that increased special defense makes me really sad. And the speed is only 9. God, if only Jordan had more energy! 
if only there was a way for Jordan to get more energy to speed him up a little bit. You know, like if he were to use Sneak Energy. Sneak Energy is a leading innovator in the energy supplement industry, creating sugar-free, natural, vitamin-rich, clean energy you can feel. Just add water. Look for yourself. All of the ingredients are listed plain as day on their site, telling you exactly what you're getting. And we all know that kind of transparency from any brand is rare. Plus, just one tub lasts long enough for well over a month of productivity. And if you're tired as fuck all the time like I am because life is constantly pulling you in a hundred different directions, then Sneak is going to be perfect for you. They have over 10 different flavors to choose from, with limited edition flavors coming out all the time, too. You can even get a starter deal to dip your toes into the rabbit's juices. Uh, oh, wait and get nine of their flavors plus a free shaker for only $2.70 per serving. With over 55,000 five-star reviews, fast shipping, transparent labeling, and a dope-ass logo, Sneak Energy is a brand that you can trust to get your creativity flowing. Use code LECKA, L-E-C-K-A, at checkout under creator code and hit apply when you check out. Easy as that. Not only does it land you some phenomenal goodies, but it also supports our channel as well. Remember, use creator code LECKA, L-E-C-K-A, at checkout to get your energy flow and lack Pikachu today with Sneak. Oh god, her freaking fracking opponenting Pokemon is a Mudkip? Oh, this is gonna make this so much harder for Jordan. Oh my god. I mean, I know they only have Tackle right now, but that's absolutely gonna change. It's gonna have ground and water type moves, which I'm both weak to! Oh man, I'm really sad that I picked the middle Pokeball now. God dang it! Alright, let's get you your first Pokemon, Wally. Good job, Wally. I believed in you the entire time. The fact that I'm gonna have to fight Team Aqua, which has Water-type Pokemon, and Team Magma, which has Ground-type Pokemon in it too? Or Pokemon that know and have access to Ground-type moves and Fire-type moves? Even though I'm Rock, so it's one times effective with Fire moves against me. Camerupt and I are gonna have a hard time with Jordan this run-through. I can already feel it. Okay, so I thought that Shroomish could learn Cut, and I was trying to catch it as a cut slave, and then I found out that it can't actually learn cut, which I guess makes sense considering it has nothing but nubbins to try and whack down trees with. But when I try and release this Pokemon, it says that cut came back because was it worried about you? You shouldn't be. I have no affinity towards you at all. It won't let me get rid of this Pokemon. You know what? Fine. We're gonna just put you in the box if you are that worried about me. Jesus. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah, okay, sure, let's do it. A shiny Meryl. I, I, I can't use you, but you're cool. <laughs> I did not expect to see a shiny Pokemon this early on, or at all. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm gonna just name you... O M G Uh wow. OMG wow. That was not what I expected going back to capture a Zigzagoon for cut, but I'll take it. All right, now that I am level 15, I have Metal Claw and I feel like I have a good chance at being able to go in and face Roxanne. Pocky, what are you doing? Why are you being like a like a like a pirate? Pocky Anyway, let's go to the gym and beat the shit out of Roxanne. That I have Metal Claw, this should be pretty darn easy to do. I wanted to level myself up to get here. I made sure that I battled all of the other Pokemon that were in here. Well, all of the other Pokemon and the other trainers that were in here too. So that just would be as easy as possible. God damn it, I need to turn this on set mode because I'm going to have HM Slave, HM Slave with me as much as possible. And uh, it's, it's going to be necessary for me to do that so it doesn't keep asking me to switch out. All right, there we go. First badge got... scarf to Aeron so that his headbutts will be increased but essentially this is just gonna be a matter of can I get flinches can I get critical hits are, are any of those things going to happen and uh can then we murder them because if I get hit with one really strong move I'm just kind of fucked especially against the Makuhita see like it did so much damage and I'm dead again Oh, this was gonna take a little while. So here's my plan going up against Brawly. I'm going to Metal Claw over and over again, trying to get that 10% chance of getting an attack increase against either the Machop or the Metatite. I did not get it that time, but the idea is to do that so I can then two-shot the Makuhita, but I'm saying that as I did that without an attack bonus? Okay, well, you know what? Screw my strategy, apparently. Pfft, 
Jordan said I didn't need the attack bonus, despite me having a calm nature. You swapped me. Okay, I'll take it. Oh god, May's entire team is just so annoying. Oh, and he has a mud shot now. Ah! Oh, I don't know how I survived that, but I'll take it. Oh, and it hit! Oh my god, May, that was way harder than it should have been. Alright, let's take on Watson. This shouldn't be too bad, considering I have a freaking freaking mud slap and a 100% accurate headbutt. But I am slow as fuck, so that could also be an issue. Hopefully not, though. Maybe we can do this first try. With the uh, electric steel types. Ooh! Yeah. Mm. Maybe not. Down the manectric, even though I'm paralyzed. And there it is! Critical hit even! Yes! Got it! And I already hear you guys down in the comments saying, Oh, Lekka, you have a new HM slave! And I do! I have an Aeron that I went back and got in Petalburg's Granite Cave because it does basically all the same things that Zigzagoon does, but it's an Aeron, and I think that's funny for our Aeron-only challenge. Oh god, it's a camera up. This, the, like, camera ups are gonna be an issue. Oh, it's an issue. I did not think that it would have died to a critical hit headbutt, otherwise I would have done that so many attempts ago! Oh my god. Alright, Flannery, I have a level 41 Aeron! There better be some universe where I'm able to defeat you. Alright, I even gave- oh god. Oh god. I even gave Mud Slap a little bit of an extra boost by giving it some freaking fracking soft sand, but I even then, it's not nearly enough damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright then, so that's how this is gonna go. I was able to knock out uh, the Team Magma Leader's uh, camera up with a critical hit headbutt when it was level 24, so maybe I just need to get a nether critical hit headbutt on camera up. Maybe at level 41, 42-ish, and we'll see, I guess. Let's find out. I am giving the silk scarf back to Jordan because I'm going to be using headbutt for almost everything. And that extra power that it gives is so nice. And oh my god, we just got rid of the freaking fracking. Oh, you freaking attracted me? <gasps> How dare? How dare? I'm immobilized by love. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Oh, Jesus. And of course you used a potion. Oh, can you stop being in love with Torkoal, please? Until it decides to use overheat and just destroy our world. And I'm paralyzed from body slam because that's great. I'm not sure why it's choosing only to body slam me. Stop being in love, Jordan! Kill the love of your life! Thank you! You are so much better without her! Yeah! Alright, let's beat the shit out of our dad. This should go pretty darn easily considering he is a normal type. Oh, but I'm confused. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, double edge? Oh! <gasps> But still, my beating heart. Yes! Because we have... Oh! Ah, uh, oof. Okay. Well, maybe... Mm. Alright, I will not fast forward through these because I'm not sure what exactly killed me. I thought that was going to be way easier, especially with Double Edge. I got super excited and now I'm dead. So, let me refocus, regroup, and we'll be right back. So he has his four Pokemon. We have Spinda. We have Double Edge, though, which can easily take it out, especially since I'm still holding the Silk Scarf. Uh, Slacking... I need to see why. Let me go ahead and use protect real quick. Faint attack, okay. And then it's going to have its loafing around and then I'll just use protect and then it'll use counter and then I'll use protect and it's just loafing around and then I'll use protect and it use counter. Okay, so it's countering me. That's why. Loafing around, protect, trying to do faint attack. Okay, that's fine. I'll take advantage of its, ugh, okay turn where it doesn't do anything. Come on, protect, counter, all right. There we go. All right, that was much easier now that I know what's going on and it tried to counter me. Woo! Much, much better. All right, I think we can just double edge our way through the rest of this gym uh, without any issue. 
and we'll be perfectly fine. And then Lanoon, yep, there it is. All right, easy peasy. Gotta get it. Can somebody explain to me why when I just got the TM, HM, whatever for Surf, when I boot it up, it says that Agron can learn Surf. When he's made of steel, she's made of steel, and is weak to water. If you're good enough in water to be able to surf across it, then you shouldn't be weak to water! Someone needs to tell Wallace that! Also, I just think it's hilarious that an Agron can use surf, and, uh, that's 100% the reason why I'm having it learn it. <laughs> oh, it's best girl! It's best girl! It's waifu Absol! Ah! I can't wait to do an Absol only run with you, but today is not that day! Let's go ahead and do it. This is gonna be the easiest gym battle, because I'm a steel type and a rock type that resists flying type moves by four times. Now that is scary that she had, you know, earthquake on her freaking Altaria. And even though she's trying to pee pee stall me, she won't win. Oh, I forgot she had a Skarmory. Okay, I take back what I said about her being the easiest one. She's just gonna be the most annoying. Okay, there we go. And now we just have a Tropius in the way. Oh, dang. Okay, that was closer than it should have been, but we got it! Only at level 50. Let's go! Level 50, Aaron just swept your fucking team! But no, no, you don't get to evolve, Jordan! Stop it! All right, May. This battle is gonna suck, but let's do it anyway. Tropius, I can just double-edge you, and somehow that didn't kill you. All right, there we go. 52, not too bad. Okay. Okay. At least I'm faster than you, so that's not too terrible. Okay, you only use Absorb, not a water move, and I can murder you. Okay, this actually was not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Stop trying to evolve, Jordan! The blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together! Well, then maybe there should be more than just you and your husband guarding these extremely precious treasured artifacts from thugs? Up the security a little bit. Take on Lisa and Tate. And by the way, if you're wondering why I have OMG WoW in my party with our shiny Meryl, it's because it's the weakest Pokemon I have since it's the shiny one that I caught. And you can't battle Lisa and Tate unless you have two Pokemon in your team for a double battle. So I am going to have Meryl just spam Defense Curl until it dies, which will be quickly. And then Aaron will take on both. I'm going to Iron Tail. I'm going to Iron Tail the Claydol. I don't remember if it's not very effective or super effective. <laughs> I think it's super effective since it's ground psychic. And then I'm just going to defense curl. Good. Kill the non-believer. Uh, that didn't do nearly as much as I wanted it to. And Earthquake did way more than I wanted. Okay. That's how this is going to go. Gotcha. And I'm dead. Oh, this is going to take a while. Even at level 64, they're still a nightmare. Oh my god. Okay. We were able to get rid of them. But now we need to get rid of Zatu. Which is good, uh, and I have Iron Tail to be super effective against the rock types that are Soul Rock. Oh, and Lunatone, and I got rid of one! <gasps> oh, this might be it! Oh, that took way longer than I wanted it to, but it's fine! Level 64 Jordan did the deed! OMG, Meryl, you did your duty of being there to die? Good shit. Good shit! You ever just fight alongside Steven and the only Pokémon you bring is an Aeron? Next to his Batang, which he thinks is so cool as a steel type, but little does he know, Aaron is the true cool steel type of Generation 3. This is just so cool. Watching these two freaking mythical beasts go at each other. Aw, oh, this is just awesome. Aw, oh, so cool. The Awakened Rayquaza flew off! Alright, let's see what happens. The epic fight! Rayquaza coming in! For the win! Let's go! I know we're doing a solo Aaron, uh, Aaron challenge, but... You gotta take time to appreciate the... The cool art and amazingness. In all of its pixel glory. So good! Rayquaza literally coming down from the sky, telling these two to shut the fuck up, sit down, and stop messing around! And they were like, oh god, we woke up dead. We gotta go to bed or he's gonna spank us. And that's how the world was saved. 
Rick Waza Daddy always coming in right when you need it. I'm pretty sure I can just double edge everything in here and we're gonna easily be able to get the badge uh, because of how strong I am, but the fact that he does have water pulse on basically everything is a little bit of a concern. Okay, that is definitely a concern and Kingdra's faster than me. That's a super concern and I'm a fainted. Okay, let's try that again. All right, I'm level 69 now because of lol. And I should be able to destroy everything that is in uh, the gym right now and be good to go, hopefully. Uh, because I tried the other levels. Can you stop double teaming? Oh my god, Kingdra, Jesus Christ. All right, at least it rested itself to sleep. Maybe I can Iron Tail and it's gonna Amnesia. I would like you to not do that, Wish Cash, please, for the love of God. And there we go. Ah, I love that we defeated one with a level 69 Aeron. Spicy. Noise. Noise! We are here at the Elite Four with Jordan, with our calm natured freaking Mon. And uh, we're not looking too bad. I gave him the quick claw, like I said we were gonna be doing. Um, at some points, I might put on a silk scarf so we can get that little extra damage on. Double edge, but uh, at this point I don't really know. Uh, we do have 141 attack, which is good, even though it's being diminished because of our nature. 97 speed, which isn't great, which is the whole reason for the quick claw. Our defense is looking nice at 196. 107 special defense, not terrible, not terrible at all. Our uh, attack, uh, our special attack is pretty awful. Uh, so our moves right now are double edge, and I use PP ups to max it out. Uh, I had a couple left over, so I gave them to Earthquake. Uh, we have our Iron Tail as usual, and then we have Protect. I'm probably gonna get rid of Protect for something else, or maybe get rid of Iron Tail since it's gonna be completely useless when we get to Wallace, and maybe try and do some Toxic Protect stalling shenanigans. I don't really know. I'm gonna see if with this move set we can get through the Elite Four just normally. And if the answer is yes, awesome. And then when we get to Wallace, if I need to change my strategy, I will. But let's just go in and see what happens first of all. All right, Sydney, you dark type user, you absolute legend. Let's go in and murder you. And I got intimidated and my accuracy fell. So that's fantastic and my favorite thing in the entire world. I love it when my speed super drops. I don't always hit my moves and j there's just a bunch of things happening that I'm not a fan of because I can't use the same move twice, of course. I don't like this. Okay, and I'm gonna have to do it again. Oh my God. This is... Oh my god. This is something! This is my purgatory. This is hell. There we go! Oh my god. I can't use it twice because of torment. That was a great first fight to the Elite Four! Awesome! Alright, so let's try that again, but without the bullshit of me losing on all of the accuracy of my moves as you intimidate me and lower my accuracy and increase your evasiveness. I'm not dealing with your bullshit! Can we just murder your mons and get to the next... Elite Four member, the ghost type user Phoebe, Porfa freaking Vor! Yeah! I do love Absol as best girl, but not right now I don't! Oh my god, hit! Ah! God. All right, let's try against Phoebe. Hopefully it goes a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to protect because I'm assuming that they're going to protect. Yep. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to, oh, I was gonna say, I thought you were just gonna protect again and you did, but oh my God, you got the double protect. Such a freaking PP stall turn waster. That is for freaking fracking sure. But if it wants to earthquake me, that's fine. I can just iron tail everything else into oblivion. Thunderbolt, that's not great. Ooh, no thanks, I'm good. Can I, there's no PP left for that move. That's fine, we'll just iron tail you and we won against Phoebe. Great! See, the issue I think we're gonna have here with Glacia is the fact that her Pokemon are essentially water and ice types, which is gonna be the biggest issue here. Okay, we got rid of the Walrein, that's great. Got rid of the Glalie, that's also great. We're level 80. Can I just double-edge you? I can! And then... Oh, we got the crit! Ah! Love to see it. Okay. I should be able to just double-edge you again. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna die to hail. <gasps> oh, we were so close to dying to hail. Holy smokes. Elixir has been used, and now we get to fight Drake with all of his dragon types. And of course, you're gonna stall me for even more PP with your dumbass protects for no reason. And my quick claw didn't go off. Damn it! All right, Jordan is now level 93 going through the Elite Four. And I think that now will probably be strong enough to do it. I just have to kill this guy before he gets any good damage off. 
And then Flygon is honestly the biggest hurdle here. But... But... I got the Quick Claw! Yes! Okay, and we still have to deal with that Salamance. And it did intimidate me, but I feel like Double Edge would still do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it did a crit! <gasps> that means if I can just crit this Altaria, or if it wants to Dragon Dance... <gasps> we did it! We beat Drake! Yes! That means that we just have Wallace left. Oh, oh my god, that means we still have Wallace left. Alright, so obviously we need to use a Max Elixir on Jordan to restore all of its PP and whatnot. Because we're going in, so, oh gosh. 169, <laughs> noise, attack, but with our double edge and stuff and all in here. I don't know what my strategy is gonna have to be. Oh, I don't know if I should give it this, I, I think I should give it the silk scarf going in for the first time, just to see if that'll give me the little extra oomph that I need, given that the 132 damage with the 100% accuracy, because obviously Iron Tail does more, but water resists steel, so actually it's not going to be as good as we would like it to be. Uh, there's my Silk Scarf, so let's go ahead and give that to Jordan instead of the Quick Claw for now to try it out, and we'll see what happens. I'm not looking forward to this, but let's do it, Wallace! Me and Jordan against the world! Let's go! Well, Lord! Oh gosh. All right. It's just double edge all day, baby! <laughs> this is gonna. Oh, dude, that intimidate Gyarados, though, is very, very annoying. Okay, that's how it's gonna be. Okay, 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 okay. What I can tell you is that if Wallace sets up the rain, you're just kind of fucked. So you really have to hope that the rain doesn't get set up. I can still two-hit KO almost everything, even after Gyarados does that scary dragon dance. Yes, Hydro Pup missed! Oh, I love living in this universe. Okay, there we go. We were able to take out the Tentacool. This is Ludicolo. This is the farthest that I've gotten. And it surf killed me. Damn it! All right, Hydro Pup missed again. This time, uh, surf is 100% accurate, though. <laughs> so I basically need to have a crit against Ludicolo. Gotcha. Gotcha. Need a crit against Ludicolo. Good to know. Unless, actually... What if I use the berries to get rid of the EVs on Jordan so that I can up his special defense and his attack? Maybe that would work out a little bit better. Nah, 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 nah. I, 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 I can get, I can just get lucky. I can just get lucky. If I can have Hydro Pump miss, there we go. We can get rid of the Tentacool and now Ludicolo. I'm gonna probably need a crit here though. Or I can double team. And then I miss anyway. Oh my god, but I live on eight. Oh! The drama! Oh, his Milotic took me out though. Dang it, it was so close. I know that we can do it. I know that we can do it at level 94. All right, he double teamed. So now we have 125 health against the Milotic, which is nice. Oh, I critical hitted the Milotus. Oh, and now we only have a Wish Cash. Oh, which I can easily fucking Earthquake against. Uh, of course it's groundwater itself, so it wouldn't do, like, too much damage to it, but I can easily double edge to two hit KO the Wish Cash. <gasps> and we beat Wallace with only an air on at level 94! Let's freaking go! It really helps out with the algorithm, and also that you've uh, made a comment uh, whether you thought I was gonna die, whether you thought it was not gonna happen with Jordan or not. Uh, that was so freaking crazy! I loved that. Uh, but like I said, we're not done yet. We still need to do the fight with Steven in the cave. So let's go ahead and do that, and then once we do that, 
uh, then the challenge will actually be over. It's time for the real champion battle. And if you guys have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that beautiful little sexy little red subscribe button so that you can join us for more in the future. I am not going to be producing three videos in every single day, basically, uh, like it is. I, I started off with three videos so that I could have content just boom, 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 immediately for you guys to watch and enjoy to give you an idea of my personality and of my channel to encourage you to subscribe. Uh, but I'm going to be having videos come out once a week. So if you guys are excited to see more Pokemon Nuzlocke challenges or just Pokemon challenges in general, then let me know by subscribing and then leaving me a comment too if there's a specific kind of challenge or Nuzlocke you want to see me do. I'm super down. I love doing Pokemon challenges of all kinds. So hit me up. But first, we need to hit Steven up with some smacky smack from Jordan. Oh, wow, Leka, I'm amazed that you knew where to find me. Do you uh think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battled alongside each other at the Sotopolis Space Center. You should have a very good idea of how good I am. Okay, Leka, if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Oh, let's go, Steven! I have the answer for your skarmory. It's called Rock Tomb. It's not great, but it does allow me to lower your speed and hopefully hit not take too many damage from steel wing oh dear god i wonder if double edge would be faster not really <laughs> i thought this was my solution but apparently not ah! all right we're gonna do it again oh he switched into his aggro on this time okay that's easy because i can then use earthquake oh my gosh dude my guy i see you switching between everybody here oh i need a quick claw instead of a silk scarf <laughs> Yeah, no, that's gonna be my downfall here. I definitely need a quick claw. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. All right, bug rock type. Iron tail should take you out, and it did. Good, good, good. We have a ground psychic type, uh, which iron tail or getting earthquaked will completely destroy me for. I have a feeling that not only do I need quick claw, but I probably need to be level 100 for this. <laughs> probably. I also leveled up Jordan, not to 100, but 99, because I wanted to see if I was going to be able to do this not at level 100, just for funsies. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, if I could have just taken you out, that would have been so much better. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. We have 252 attack. Uh, I don't think I have 252 defense. I don't remember. I kind of got bored looking for all the different soul rocks in the cave over the Zubat, so I'm pretty sure I don't have my max defense however uh it should go easier because of the freaking fracking attack Ooh! so i will show you guys the winning run because now that we're level 100 jordan and i can take this on Okay, I got a defense drop on Iron Tail. Oh, I didn't get the critical hit I needed on. Oh, I apparently I didn't need it. I thought I needed a crit. And then Cradley. Ah, uh, okay, sure. I have Iron Tail, which is super effective. We just beat Steven with a level 100 subscribe for more in the future because this was so fun to do and I'm definitely going to do more Pokemon challenges in addition to the Nuzlocke's here on the channel. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care, my lovelies. Bye-bye.